Good morning guys. It has been a while since I have done a like recipe how to. I'm going to show you how I make my very simple homemade pasta sauce. It is the best. So simple. You can put it on in the morning as long as it cooks for four hours. That's all you need. I've even done it in the crock pot. I prefer if it's like a cold day. I'd rather do it on my stove. But if like I'm going to be gone all day or in the summer, throw it in your crock pot. It's just as good. So let me show you how to make it. So this is all you're gonna need. I, the meat option, this is totally your call. You do not have to do the meat. I personally like to put some meat in it. Sometimes I will put, right now I have got a pound of ground beef cooked up, but you can do nothing. You can do, um, I've done ground turkey, ground beef. I've ground, done ground sausage, ground pork. Anything you really want, you can throw in it and it just adds flavor. So what I am doing is I am going to put, I've got, as you can see, I've got it already sauteing. So once it is all browned, I leave the juices in there and then you're going to put in your garlic. You want to put in 13 heads, which sounds crazy. And you're going to put them in just like this. You do not have to crush them. They actually will dissolve in your sauce. Um, so you're going to put in these after you have this all browned. You're going to put this in and let this just heat up. And once your um, garlic starts to get like that little cooked, you know, it's getting a little brown on the outside, then you are actually going to take a tiny bit more to your flavoring of red pepper and put it in and let it cook up for about 30 seconds as it's at that point where the, the garlic is almost done. And that is going to be your first step. The other things you're going to need is you need a little salt just once you're done. Olive oil. Because I'm putting the meat in, I'm going to put in less olive oil. If you were not doing meat, do about three quarters of a cup along with the garlic when you do the garlic. But so because I am doing, I already have the beef in there and I'm using the juices, I'm only going to put like a quarter of a cup of olive oil. And then your tomatoes. You're going to want diced tomatoes. I cannot find the big like 28 ounce cans of the diced tomatoes that have the basil, garlic, or oregano. Um, they're also called Italian um, style uh, diced tomatoes. I can't find them near me. Um, I've found them a couple of times. They're just not stocked very well. So I usually can find them either at Harris Teeter or these are Aldi's. These are the best price. I only buy them at Harris Teeter when they're on sale. But Aldi's does have them. Um, unfortunately, they are the small cans, but you will need eight cans. Now, we are a family, well, I want to say a family of six. Um, my nephew does live with us. The boys don't like the sauce, so it is just three adults. Normally, this will make me two meals. I will do a pound of pasta, and it'll use probably about half the sauce, and then I freeze the other half. So you could definitely do this less if you wanted to. I personally just like doing it in a big batch, and then I freeze it. So then, like, in a couple weeks when I go to make sauce again, I can just take the sauce out and heat it up. So... Let me get this garlic going and then I'll show you what I'm talking about before you put the pepper in. Oh, and I don't know if I said, but I already put the olive oil in when I put, um, right before I put the garlic in because I like to have it um, kind of like use the juices to get into the garlic. And so, yeah, so the, gar the olive oil, as you can see, is already in there along with the beef juice. Now, if you're not going to do any kind of beef, then you just use a little bit more olive oil. Okay, so as you can see, the garlic is just about there. It's starting to brown. So I'm putting in my red pepper flakes. Now this is how much I usually put in. Um, it's really more to taste, and this is just what I do. And then you just are going to let it cook up for about 30 seconds in with this, just so that everything marinates and the red pepper flakes start to really cook. And then all I'm gonna do next is just dump in my cans of tomatoes. Um, and then you're just gonna let it cook. So. As you can see, there's that garlic. It's easier to see. So when it starts to look like that, that's when I throw in my red pepper flakes and just let it go for about 30 seconds and then dump in my tomatoes. Okay, so the tomatoes are now in and then I'm just gonna put in a little bit of salt. I just had to show it in my hand because I have the grater kind. And then I'm just gonna let this get to a boil. And once it boils, I will turn it down to just a simmer and let it cook all day. So I'll let you show you what it looks like once we are boiling away here. Okay, so here's what it looks like when it starts to boil. So when it starts to boil, what I will do is I just turn the heat down to low and I just let it simmer for the rest of the day. I'll put a lid on and then I just stir it every now and then. And like I said, you can see the big chunks of 
garlic as the sauce cooks over the next couple hours you can actually they actually will just soften and just break apart and it's you really don't get a big hunk of garlic in your sauce so that's what it looks like so we're just gonna let it cook for at least four hours okay so here's the sauce when it's all done there is one chunk of garlic that really just ate you could just smush it and it's fine but this is what it looks like we've actually already had some and what I usually will do is when I make pasta <clears throat> I'll make the pasta and then I will put some of the sauce in here. Um, this has been sitting for a little bit. I'll put some of the sauce in here just so it doesn't stick together. And then we'll just add more sauce to our bowl as we eat it. And that's how you make the sauce. It's super easy. I had it cooking for about seven hours before we ate it. But like I said, as long as it's a minimum of four hours, you're good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed. If there's any recipes you'd like to see, especially like on my meal, uh, the dinners I make, uh, just put them in the comments below and I'll try to get them done.